Elsewhere in Abuja, more than 60 revolution now protesters were arrested by security agents for violating the territory's COVID-19 guidelines. The protesters uh, were later uh, freed after charges were filed against them. Tunjoye reports. The revolution now protest in the federal capital territory did not end well as expected. The protest was initially scheduled to hold air at the Unity Fountain, but the presence of heavily armed security agencies thwarted the rally. The protesters eventually gathered at the beggar area of the city, where they hurriedly addressed the media. Nigeria is currently in a state of emergency. Our country has been reduced to a surrender situation and we cannot continue like this. And this is the reason why we all have come out today. We've shown our displeasure to let the Nigerian government understand that there's a need for us to have sincere change. If you have a government who has its neck well screwed on its shoulder, if you have a government that is serious about the welfare of the people, by now the service chiefs would have been removed. By now a lot of things would have been overhauled in this country. There's a need for us to have a conscious political revolution. Absolutely. There's a need for us to have change of leadership. Absolutely. There's a need for us to have people who have clear focus, Absolutely. who have passion and welfare of the interest and the interest of the people in their heart to take over leadership. Fulani men are taking over people's belongings and properties, terrorizing people all over the country. We are us. Education is in shambles in this country. We are us. Health is in total mess in this country. We are us. Citizens cannot feed as there is high level poverty all over the country. More so, Nigeria has been, has been rated highly among the poverty capital of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to make the statement clearly established, resounding without any ambiguity, that the Buhari administration has failed absolutely. Over 62 protesters were reportedly arrested by security agencies and charged for violating COVID-19 guidelines but were later released. There are other casualties of the protest as some innocent Nigerians were affected by the pandemonium. I was on my way to Corporate Affairs Commission to go and conduct a registration exercise. So while at this point, I met some youth uh, chanting, Say Baba Buhari, Say Baba Buhari. In fact, they took over the road. And because I was afraid, I decided to park. When I park, I was waiting for detention to douse. While I was waiting, the security agents, in fact, it was a joint security task force. The army, the police, the, the, the army, the police, the mobile police, they all came here and they invaded, and they invaded the place. So I entered my car, I was at the verge of uh, driving off. And in fact, one of the soldiers came and smashed my bus screen, my car bus screen. In fact, that was not enough. He came to the front screen again and smashed it. And I told him, ah, what is my business with you? Why are you doing all this thing? In fact, one was even threatening me that, in fact, they are licensed to kill, that if I do, if I do not conduct myself with civility, I will be killed. To our greatest surprise, we were all taking, beating us, driving us all around the town. They broke my phone, all and the rest. I didn't expect this from the security apparatus. My boys called me that uh, there is a problem in the office. I'm the owner of this car stand. That there's a problem. What's the problem? He said the police and the protesters they are having issues. Uh, they've damaged my cars. One 2019 Prado brand new. I've taken that one out now to fix. But my lawyer has taken over the matter. For now, the federal capital territory is calm. But there are presence of security agents in strategic locations in the city. From Abuja, Sujoye, TV360 News.